Do you travel? Are you worried about your luggage making it wherever you're going? Or maybe you just want to keep track of it on its journey. How about your kids losing their backpack? Stick around because I have your solution. Meet the new Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag 2. And this channel is all about unboxings, reviews on some of the coolest gadgets, smart home tech, and software that you didn't even know you needed. Today, I'm going to unbox and I'm going to show you what I feel is the best solution to keep track of things, kind of like your kids and their backpacks. So hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, meet the new Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag 2. And stick around because I'm going to show you some accessories and how I plan on using these. Also, tell me down in the comment section below if you've ever lost your luggage or maybe misplaced your keys. Maybe your kids lost their backpack and you wish you would have had one of these. Or if you do already have one, how do you use it? Okay, so let's get into opening these up and see what we got in the box. Um, I personally chose to get the four pack because uh, we're going to be taking some trips coming up. Um, actually, one next month, one in September, and then again in November. And I want to make sure that I am keeping track of my luggage. You know, the airlines have gotten a little crazy and you always hear stories of people losing luggage and, you know, not knowing where the things are at. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping tabs of it. So let's get this opened up and see what we got. Um, I actually have one of the first smart tags, but I can tell you that the first gen smart tag just didn't impress me. And this four pack is too white, too black. Now you can get these individual. You can actually get them in pairs. Uh, you don't have to get the four pack. I'm going to put an Amazon link down in the description and I'll include for the single, the double and the four pack. I think right now the four pack is probably one of the better deals, but even still these here individually are normally $29.99. I think right now on Amazon, they're doing like 20% off. So you can get them for like $21.99. So that's not a bad deal. This is what it looks like up close. You can see it's not that big. And this year, Samsung added this big loop right here and their whole point of doing that was so that you can actually put this on you know larger straps maybe a dog collar or things like that and i think it's actually a really smart idea they also made it metal on the inside not plastic it's going to have a much longer lifespan and much higher durability in my opinion Obviously, I haven't tested it yet, but we'll get there. But I can tell you that this is very well made. It feels actually much better than the old one. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. They have made this IP67 water resistant and dust resistant. If you drop this out in the rain or in a puddle, you'd be fine. Uh, I don't know that I'd let it sit there and soak <laughs> you know, for a couple hours. Uh, but if you dropped it, it's not going to hurt anything. Just pick it up, dry it off, and you're good to go. Now, another thing I really like about these tags is it actually has a replaceable battery. And I'm gonna show you here in just a minute how you open this little battery door so you can get the battery out. The fact that they make this battery replaceable and it's using the common CR2032 uh, little disc batteries that you find in most of my smart home devices that are battery operated have a battery like that. So they're really easy to find, they're very inexpensive, and according to Samsung, this device here on one brand new battery will last up to 500 days. Yes, days, not hours, but days. That's a long time. That's like a year and a half. So that's going to take you a long time to run this battery down. Now, unfortunately, or in my case, fortunately, these smart tags only work with Samsung smartphones. And I believe you have to have Android version 9.0 or higher, but we're about to be released with Android 15. So I would think that more than likely most phones that are in use right now are going to be well past version nine. So you should be fine on your version of Android, but you do have to have a Samsung device. Now, one other cool feature this has is ultra wideband, which gives you much higher accuracy of location. And again, you have to have a Samsung phone that supports ultra wideband. And I believe phones from the S21 and higher support ultra wideband. Now I have the S23 Ultra. My wife also has an S23 Ultra. So it's not gonna be any problem to use all of the available features that this device gives you. The whole point of this is that as it's roaming around the world, and it comes in contact with other Samsung devices that support the connectivity, it anonymously sends out a signal to that device and that device will report anonymously 
to the Samsung Find Network as to where that device is located. There's no information being tracked. It's simply an anonymous ping that's happening through other people's phones. And I think it's genius, actually. I think Samsung has the best network to compete against Apple. I don't know why they wouldn't have just somehow incorporated the Samsung network into their phones. And then you'd be able to have the Samsung existing infrastructure available on any Android phone, basically. But, you know, they didn't ask me, so <laughs> I didn't have an input. But stick around, too, because in the end, I'm going to show you a couple of additional features this has that you probably didn't know were there. Now, Samsung offers these little silicone cases you can put these in. And again, I'm going to link those in the description so you can go check them out. I personally don't really see the need for that. Um, I suppose it would help protect it if you have it in you know, a purse or somewhere that maybe the device can get scratched up. But these devices are pretty durable. So I don't know that you'd really need the silicone case. I'll link it. You can go check it out. Maybe it's perfect for what you need. But I am going to show you an accessory that I plan on using that I think actually is better than the silicone tag. So hang around for that. Now, there's a couple of different ways of connecting these, but I can tell you from past experience with other devices, like, for example, my watch, as soon as I turn my watch on, my phone saw it like immediately and asked to pair it. And these actually work the same way. However, if you're not able to get that pairing on the back of the box, you'll see it has these QR codes. And when you scan these QR codes, they are assigned to each specific device. So you can you know, scan one at a time. Let's say you don't want to use all of them at the same time. You could just wait and then scan it. But if you have a fairly new Samsung device, it's going to automatically see it as soon as you pull that little plastic tab out and activate the battery. Now, it gives you little instructions there on how to actually remove the battery door, but I'm actually going to show you that. But first, let's get into the app. Let's go ahead and get one of these devices paired up. So you can see how the pairing works and you can also see some of the features and how to set some of the functionality of some of these extra features that they have on the actual device itself. Okay, so now that I'm in the app, you can see I've got a lot of devices in here. If I go to devices, you can see all the devices. But some of these are from other products like, for example, my Philips Hue is connected to my SmartThings app. And so you can control basically everything in your home through smart things if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave that open for the moment. And let's go ahead and pull out the little plastic tab. And you'll see that it's going to prompt me pretty much immediately to pair the device as soon as the battery connects. So you hear it beep. Okay, well, see, it made a liar out of me. <laughs> but this is why they give you multiple ways. In the past... Things like that would automatically pop up. Hey, you've got a new device. Let's connect it. But that's okay. So th this will be a good example of how you add it without it giving you that automatic prompt. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and hit the plus sign up here. And I'm going to say add device. So when I was going through the app, I realized why it didn't pop up. For some reason, under easy connection in the app of my smart things, the ask to add new devices and add your devices automatically were not enabled. I don't know why they were turned off. I'm going to re-enable those. So the next time I add one, it'll automatically pop that box up that says, hey, you got a new tracker. Do you want to add it? And I can say, yes, so let's go. <laughs> so I don't know how those got turned off, but they're turned back on now. I'm going to say add a Samsung device. And we're going to scroll down until we get to tag and tracker you see right there okay so let's go ahead and scan this qr code here okay so i originally chose the black tag but scanned a white tags code so i pulled out the white tag and i went ahead and activated it instead and so you can see here where it's asking me you know what location so i'm just gonna leave it home um, for now i'm gonna say bonus room because that's where my office is at but you can actually create like uh, luggage. You can create like whatever room you want. Oh, so nice. It automatically sees it. I got to update the firmware. So, yep, we're going to say update before we go any further. Okay, so we are all updated. We are connected. As you see here, it says double press the button on your tag to make your phone ring. You can turn that 
feature on to where let's say you have your tag but you don't have your phone you're not sure where your phone is double tap that and it'll make your phone ring all right so here's another cool feature so if we go into automation right here okay now you see where it gives you the ability where you can customize an action or a functionality for like if you just press it one time so if you turn that on, then you hold the button, you can assign a completely separate automation. So you can really customize this to do a lot of different things that you want it to do, which I think is fantastic because like you could have it where it um, turns on lights, notifies loved ones, sends you a text message. There's all kinds of functionality that you can use with that. Okay, so let's look at a couple other settings that you can do. So if you notice here where it says connected view on map. So if you click view on map, then it takes you to a map where it shows you the location of your device. And if you notice down here, where it says ring location, history, refresh, and you have the three little dots for more. If you go into more, you have the ability to like navigate to the device. You can select notify when left behind. You can select notify when arriving or leaving. So that's helpful if, for example, let's say this was part of your purse or your briefcase or your backpack and you left the house and you were headed down the street, you're going to get notified that you left this behind. So that can be really helpful if you leave something at the house that you absolutely have to have with you and you can go back and get it before you get too far away. So here's another cool feature. And this enables you to have where, for example, if you share your location, let's say with your spouse or your kids with you, you can turn on share this device's location so that you can share that. So the other share member on your account will know where this device is at and they'll be able to track it just like you can. Another added feature is this loss mode. This wasn't a part of the previous one. So one cool feature is this has an NFC chip in it. And when you enable this loss mode, you're able to update information so that if somebody scans this NFC, they'll know who this tag belongs to. So you can put in an address, an email address, a phone number, or whatever it is you want. And that way it allows this tag to be brought back into your possession if someone happens to find it. Now, the only thing is, unless somebody knows to scan it, they'll never know that that NFC exists. Now you could put someone here that says scan me or something, but I don't know that I want to do that because then everybody's going to be scanning it, whether it's lost or not. And I don't really want that. But I think as more and more people know that feature exists, like for example, myself, if I happen to see another one of these tags and it was like some backpack laying out in the middle of nowhere, I could scan it and I would know then who that backpack belonged to. So I'm going to say turn on. Now this other down here where it says go to Susan Smart Tag One Settings, that just takes you back to the original settings when we first set it up. Uh, we've already configured all of that, so there's no need to do any more configuring on that. So now if you look and see, you can see that I have all these different devices. I have my Galaxy Book, I have my phone, I have my other Smart Tag. They're all listed in my account for I can track any of these devices. Now, here's one little thing that you probably didn't know. If you click these three little dots up here, you can click add to home screen and it enables you to add this icon here to your home screen so that it's easily accessible and you don't have to go hunting into the app to get to the find my. You can just put that on your home screen, click it and be able to instantly track any of your devices. That's kind of a little hidden unknown thing. I think to a lot of people, they don't realize that's there. I didn't actually for the longest. So that's basically the setup. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, a lot of cool features and functionality in it. And this device really is not that big. So here's the original, here's the new one. And if you take them side by side, you can see that there's not that much a difference. Now this is a little taller. However, one thing that I really like, the new one's actually thinner. So even though this has what would be just a little bit of extra height. I think the functionality between having that extra ring where you, you don't have just this little tiny hole here. And this has way more functionality because it's got ultra wide band on it. It's got the newer Bluetooth edition. So in my opinion, this is absolute must upgrade. Uh, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to upgrade. I know again, this here just didn't impress me. Um, I would not have bought another one of these. 
Well, which is why it didn't, because it just, to me, wasn't worth it. So as you see, I now have all of my devices added. At the top, you see my original smart tag. I have phone, my Galaxy Book, my Galaxy Budge, which I don't really use, my watch, and now my four new tags. So I can pretty much track any of these at any time with SmartThings app. Okay, so I wanna show you how to take the battery out if you ever have to replace the battery, or I should say when you have to replace the battery. And that's what this little tool here is for. It's a little like, you know, SIM card tool. Really basically any SIM card tool you have from any of your phones would work. And if for some reason you lose this, you can see the end of it. Really a, you know, like a straight pin or a paper clip or something would you know, a small paper clip would fit in the hole, no problem. Not sure if you can see it. It's a little hole right there, and you can barely see it, that this pin fits into. So all you have to do is slide it in there, okay? Make sure you're not pushing down on the bottom because the bottom's going to pop out. So if you're pushing this and the bottom at the same time, the bottom's never going to pop out. So you stick it in there, have to apply a little bit of force, and you see how the bottom kind of just popped up a little bit and that's all you need then to take it and slide the battery door out and you'll notice the battery is just kind of set in this little tray now you're probably thinking like oh no what if i get the battery in wrong after i've replaced it well samsung has thought of that so if i try to put this in here the wrong way it'll only get so far and it won't go in the rest of the way so you can't put it in the wrong way. So it only goes in one way and then you just slide the door back in there and you're good to go. And there's a little rubber seal there too to help protect from water. So you don't have to worry about that. In all reality, they really thought a lot about the design of this device and I really, really like it a lot. So now as promised, I'm gonna show you a really cool accessory that I have purchased and exactly how I'm gonna use it for my upcoming travels. So this is the accessory I have purchased and what they are luggage tags that you put your smart tag into to wrap around your luggage. And they're like really inexpensive. I think they're like 17 bucks for two on Amazon. I'll obviously put links in the description, but this is what they look like here. And as you see, it's got a nice metal band that's actually covered in plastic. On the back, it's got a little Allen wrench screw in it. They give you the Allen wrench in the bag. So there's two of them, black one and a white one. And they both come with their own key, which is nice. Now I've already got this one opened up. So once you unscrew that, this just opens like this, okay? And then you're gonna take your tag and you're gonna put your tag inside here and just close that back. So that 100% protects the tag. And see, this is another reason, too, that if you use a device like this, you don't need that silicone um, cover because this is going to protect it. And you're going to be able to hear the tag through this, so you don't really have to worry about that. The NFC will also work through this, so if someone does scan it, then it'll be easily scannable to where they can get that information. And if you look right here, you can see how that's kind of just set in there. So... What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take one of these. So this whole top piece right here comes off where you can get this cable out. So in order, obviously, to strap it through, you know, a piece of luggage, you're going to have to take, you know, one side out. You're going to have to kind of like fit it back in here and wrap this around whatever, you know, strap or bracket whatever you're going to wrap around and then close it and screw it back up now the only thing is you kind of have to just pay attention how it kind of fits in there it's got like these little like grooves the sides and the center fit into and of course each one of the metal ends has its own groove that it fits into so once you get you know to where you're going to get it strapped down you just slide this back in the hole you kind of have to kind of play with it a little bit because you're going to have to like loosen it and then slide this back in the hole so really, probably the best thing to do is just take this off completely, put that around what you're going to put it around, and then come back to this and then pop that back in there and you should be good shape. As you can see, it's a real nice fit. Now, I will have to say because of the strap that I have is kind of wide, it did take a little finagling to get the cable 
ends in, get the little metal piece pop down into the plastic and then get it closed and put the screw in before anything popped out. But if your strap wasn't quite as fat or wide, then you probably wouldn't have as much of an issue. But once you get everything popped down in there, then you just close it, put the screw in and you're good to go. But one thing you don't wanna make sure and do is forget to put the tracker inside the plastic case like I did. <laughs> because <laughs> you got to take it all back apart again and do it all over. So yeah, I got everything put together, went to screw it down and realized, oh, I forgot to put the tracker in. So <laughs> easily corrected though. These are super nice. I really, really, really like this. The, with the plastic or rubber sheathing that's around this metal strap, you're not gonna have to worry about anything getting scratched that you put it on. You could actually probably write or put a sticker on here to include your name, you know, how you put your name, address, or whatever it is you want in case someone finds your luggage to replace the name tag. I'm going to keep our name tag. I'm not going to put anything on here. I'm just going to leave it blank. But yeah, these are super cool, super cheap, and you definitely want to go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But with the functionality that this has, the fact that it has a year and a half long replaceable battery, ultra wide band, precise location capability, as long as you have a Galaxy phone that supports ultra wide band, and that's anything that's an S21 plus or above, the programmable button that you can program for not only press, but also hold. So there's two different automated functionalities you can program, lost mode, you have the silicone case from Samsung if that's what you want and you don't want one of these big plastic like luggage tags or on your keys, you could just put it right on your existing ring. You don't even have to have another ring. You can just use it just like it is. And the fact that right now, one of these is on sale at Amazon for $21.99, this should be a no brainer. Whether you wanna track luggage, your kid's backpack, maybe your kid, dog, keys, wallet. I mean, you could put this in or on almost anything that you want to track and keep track of. Definitely you need to go check this out and I would highly recommend you get one because it doesn't matter if you travel or not. Everybody has a purse, wallet, keys, car, backpack, briefcase. They have something that this can help you track and keep track of and help protect. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe and you're definitely gonna watch this video here on my new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. It's been an amazing device, and we'll see you in the next video.